Did you know Earth might have a secret underground ocean? Are you aware that scientists recently discovered the existence of a new species of human? And have you been paying attention to the news that the number of creatures on this planet just multiplied by 100,000? No? Then stick your butt on the sofa and settle in, people. Because this is an official Strange Mystery sequel with seven more things we don't know about Earth. At number seven, does Earth have an underground ocean? There are many weird theories regarding what lies deep down beneath the Earth's crust within our planet's mantle and core. Some have suggested mole people. Others believe a giant hamster whose jolly little escapades make the world turn round. But one scientifically backed theory suggests that it might be a little damp down there and that we might have twice as much water on our planet as we originally thought. In 2014, a diamond was discovered which had formed in Earth's transition zone, which is an area between the upper and lower mantle around 400 to 550 kilometers deep. Inside the diamond was a mineral called ringwoodite, a substance which is typically found inside meteorites but never before found naturally occurring on Earth. And inside the ringwoodite, researchers discovered actual liquid water. A team led by one University of Alberta scientist believes this to be evidence that Earth potentially has a second network of oceans within this transition zone. And if true, it makes you wonder what horrors may lurk in an ocean so dark and deep. At number six, is there life deeper underground? Jamiroquai once sang about going deeper underground, but as he's yet to fund a drilling project to complete the Kola Super Deep Hole in Russia, I'm gonna call shenanigans on that funky hat-wearing little chap. However, if he did start digging deeper underground, even just into our crust, might he find life there? As well as this secret ocean teeming with all the giant mutated octosharks I just imagined, it is believed that life could theoretically survive within the Earth's crust as deep as 5 to 10 miles down. Below this depth, temperatures are likely to exceed the limit of 270 degrees Fahrenheit, beyond which life cannot be sustained, without a giant cooling ocean anyway. But that still leaves an area 5 to 10 kilometers down over the entire surface of the Earth for a whole range of weird creatures to exist in. Most of these are likely to be ancient microorganisms which draw energy from rocks. But don't go licking pebbles the next time you're feeling sleepy. Because the process involves reducing oxygen and hydrogen ions to acetate and methane. And you can't do that with your tongue. However, if we do find evidence of microorganisms living in the crust, it could mean that this deep biosphere is actually the largest animal habitat on the planet. And this discovery would make our next question even more complicated than it already is. 5. How many species are there? It is widely assumed that of all the species living on Earth today, we know about only a quarter of them, with some even pegging the figure as low as 13%. We've identified around 10 million so far. But in May 2016, researchers used mathematical scaling techniques to revise this figure, and it is now thought there are more than one trillion different species of micro and macro life sharing our world with us. But before you go shouting Jumanji to call your new army of animal allies to your aid, you need to realize that this figure does include bacteria and microscopic fungi. But even so, that doesn't mean that we won't find new types of large, more visible creatures sometime soon. It is thought there are maybe a hundred thousand mammals we've yet to meet, millions of plants, and tens of millions of insects. In fact, if anyone watched the BBC's awesome Planet Earth 2, you'll have seen footage of the Amazon River dolphin, whose existence as a distinct species was only confirmed as recently as 2014. New animals are being discovered every single day, and in October 2016, we might have even discovered a new species of human. At number 4, does man have a missing relative? 
All modern humans contain traces of genetic material from one of Homo sapiens' long-dead ancestors, the Neanderthal. And some people also carry the genetic remnants of another species known as Denisovans. But when genetic analysis was conducted upon people from the island groups of Melanesia, evidence was found of a third previously unknown group of extinct human species. Unlike Neanderthals and Denisovans, who were kind enough to die in places we could find them, we've yet to find any physical remains belonging to this mysterious species. But based on genetic analysis, we know they definitely existed. So what did they look like? How did they act? And did they come from outer space? Let's answer those questions right now. Hairy monkey people, aggressively, and no. Number three, where did our oxygen come from? As well as the fact that we shouldn't lick rocks for fun, geology also teaches us that until 2.3 to 2.4 billion years ago, the Earth had no oxygen in its atmosphere. But in early 2016, a group of scientists began analyzing specks of ancient space dust found in Australian limestone, and they discovered that geology was wrong. <laughs> Hooray! Pass me a pebble, I'm gonna slobber all over that mother. By studying ancient space dust which had fallen to Earth billions of years ago, scientists were able to analyze what kind of conditions this dust endured while traveling through our atmosphere. And the evidence indicates that far from containing no oxygen, Earth's upper atmosphere was actually highly oxidized, containing as much oxygen as it does today. So why is this important? Well, we thought much of our oxygen today came from plants producing it via photosynthesis. But if it didn't, this has huge implications for our study of both the development of life on early Earth and on other worlds. At 2. What caused the Cambrian Explosion? Around 541 million years ago, life on Earth started to get pretty complicated. And not in an Avril Lavigne way where creatures started acting like somebody else and everybody got all frustrated. For reasons which we cannot yet understand, life suddenly developed rapidly from simple organisms into fancy pants animals with blood, bones, eyes, brains, penises, and boobs. Those last two were my favorite. This event was called the Cambrian Explosion. And while our theories regarding its cause range from a sudden oxygen increase and the formation of the ozone layer, through to some form of rapid evolutionary arms race, we still cannot say with any certainty why the most productive period of Earth's biological history even occurred at all. Maybe Mother Earth gave up pot and Warcraft, or something. And at number one, why are we wet? The Earth is a pretty soggy place right now, mostly due to a combination of the existing ocean water and all the tears cried by people who disagreed with Donald Trump and Brie Exit. But after the Earth formed 4.6 billion years ago, it was nothing but a dry husk of a planet. So where did all this water come from, which proved so essential to life? Magic space rain. The Lord God's generous discharge. I don't know, and neither do science jerks. One theory claims that we could have been pummeled by asteroids made of ice, whereas another study from the University of Hawaii states that while this may be true for some of our moisture, most of it probably formed on Earth by itself. And this in turn backs the secret underwater ocean theory. Another Strange Mysteries bonus entry! Who made these holes? Scattered throughout some of the most remote regions of Kazakhstan, there are over 300 groups of geometrically designed trenches carved out of the earth called the Steppe Geoglyphs, and we don't know who made them or why. Some of these geoglyphs come in ring formations, others in squares, and sometimes you'll even come across a delightful swastika to brighten your day. How lovely! They were discovered in 2007 by Dimitri Day using Google Earth. Even the likes of NASA have gotten involved in trying to solve this mystery by directing astronauts on the International Space Station to photograph the area from space. Meanwhile, down on terra firma, 
Archaeologists have managed to date the oldest trenches way back to 8000 BC. But since the tribes who inhabited this region at that time rarely stayed in one place long enough to create such a large formation, the discovery of the steppe geoglyphs is causing us to rethink everything we thought we knew about Neolithic man. Gosh darn it, science. Making us change textbooks with your evidence. Don't you know how much these things cost? So that's our list. Do you think there's an underground ocean? How do you think Earth got so soggy and moist? Do you hate the word moist? Why? It's lovely. I guess if you don't like me saying the word moist over and over again, you should go find your own planet to live on. Maybe Mars. Or maybe not. Because as we saw in our recent video, the realities of living there mean it might not be the most comfortable place to live. Why don't you watch it and find out while I spend my afternoon licking more rocks?